So I'll wait till you omnes. Hello everyone. I'm gonna be going over that QQQ practice number two here with you all. Um, starting with donum and a blank. So this part here, uh, the relative clause here is just everything from the commas pretty much, or wherever it ends. Um, it's either at the end of a sentence or between the commas. Donum is a neuter word, which is a gift. So as I'm reading this, I have to look at the other cases. And regem is an accusative because it has the em there. And this is our verb. So I'm missing a subject here. And the one the one case we use for subject is the nominative case. So I know that this one would have to be a nominative relative pronoun. Victima is the word for victim or sacrifice. And I have to put the victim in the blank here. Rex, elegant. Elegant is the word for choose. And I gave you that one. This is our verb. And rex is nominative. It's not reg m. It's not reg is or anything. It's, this is just a regular good old subject. So he chose, and I have to add the word victim here. It only makes sense that victim would be our direct object, which would be accusative. Agnes is a lamb. Agnes, blank, servus, dukeba. Again, same deal. Servus is nominative. Here's our verb. This is going to be our direct object. Lamb, slave was leading. Slave was leading the lamb. This has to be not. This has to be accusative here. Quinum, Anculi, Ferebant, Domino, et Domini. This one's a little bit trickier. Anculi has an AE, and that could be a bunch of things. And you've got to add the word wine here. But Ferebant means to carry or to bring. So Anculi here is actually going to be nominative. Ferebant is our verb. And we got bring. And she's not bringing slave and, or it's not a master and mistress. Yeah, that's not what she's doing. She's bringing wine to them. So those are actually datives. So this has to be our direct object. Weenum here has to be accusative because what is she carrying? It's this wine, wine which the slave girl was carrying. Prinky pace, our chiefs. Coom, I already know what this one is because I know what the word kum is, but domina is a nominative. It's she's the one who's doing the carrying the dinner, which is accusative. This kum has to be ablative because it's after kum, and a prepositional phrase. Turba is a crowd, and I see aulam, which has an am, and that am means that this is accusative. And complebat is our verb, so I'm missing a subject. Turba's got to be that. The crowd was filling the palace. On to the next section. We did the same thing, except now you're going to put the relative pronoun in. And nawis is our relative pronoun. It's a feminine one. Prinkeps, dukebat. Dukebat is a verb. Princeps is nominative. It's got the PS, which is our third declension happy face ending. So this has to be accusative. I'll just put a little like ACC here or whatever. And that means this has to be quam. Principes effigium portabat armarem blank multas undas habet. Same deal. I'm just going to follow along. Multas and undas are uh, go together as our direct object. This has to be nominative. It has to be our subject. And that means that this is quote, which has many waves. Ancula is feminine. Ancula contabat in atrio. Atrio is ablative. Our verb is contabat, so I'm missing a subject. This has to be nominative. So this is quai. Serwi is masculine. It's plural. It's got the I. That's how I know. Rex cogidumnus is our nominative subject. Orders to carry food and he's going to order the slaves to carry food this would actually be another accusative because that's the direct object of orders you bet quotes whom king kongi dumbness was ordering to carry food populus ferry donum they were bringing a gift blank in aula erat in aula is ablative so i'm missing just my subject which was in the palace Real simple on that one. Nothing crazy. The big key thing is recognizing and using those context clues to tell you. I know donum is singular. That's why I know it's quote. This is plural because of the I. Ancula is feminine because it's got one A. Marum is 
uh, is a neuter because of the M, and novice is feminine. That's singular because that's the nominative singular there. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that as you're maybe watching this, uh, you can kind of correct yourself and kind of recognize some of the mistakes you might be making. Wale, take care, everybody.